Hello again, this is Julius from Basic Financials. Um, today I'm going to talk a little bit about the difference between self-employment and a limited company. So let's say you've decided you've got um, a good idea for a business or, or you're doing something, maybe you're a plumber or you're an electrician um, and you, you're, you're doing your own thing, um, you're not employed. So you're earning income, but it's income that hasn't had tax deducted as source, and you're and you're treated as self-employed. Um, now the first thing to do is to decide how you want to set yourself up. Are you going to be a self-employed individual, or you might want to set up a limited company? And um, now, if I start off with self-employment. And what you'd need to do is you'd need to register with HMRC, that's HM Revenue and Customs, to let them know that you're self-employed and that you need to start paying tax through what they call the self-assessment system. So the way that works is you'll prepare accounts each year up to whatever date you want. Often people will decide to do it to the 31st of March or effectively the 5th of April so that it ties in with the tax year. The tax year runs from the 6th of April to the 5th of April. So you can do accounts for calendar months so you could do it from the 1st of April to the 31st of March. So say, say you started around about, um, say you started in August 2018, you might do some accounts from 1st of August 2018 up to the 31st of March 2019 and the figures in those accounts would go into your tax return for the year ending 5th of April 2019 and then from there on you would do some self-employed accounts each year up to the 31st of March and that those accounts would form the basis of what you put in your tax return for that tax year. Now self-employment, um, basically with, with self-employment you pay tax on the on the profits that you earn. Now sometimes that can be quite difficult because you might have to be, if you're if you're reinvesting the money you earn because you're building up your business so you've got to buy some um, some stock or you've got to buy equipment, um, you, you or, or a building for example, you might need to need a warehouse or something like that um, and sometimes you don't get tax relief on that sort of expenditure on a, on a building so you you might not be able to actually um, you might have to pay tax on on income that you have had to put back into your business and that can be quite tricky and um, that might be one reason why you would choose to set up a limited company um, but I'll, I won't talk about limited companies at the moment I'm going to do that in another video because it can start to get a little bit messy. Uh, probably five, five to ten minutes is probably enough to be going in one go. So we we'll start with self-employment. So I assume that you've decided you're going to be a self-employed individual. Yeah, and I've said you do your accounts for that year, and you'll pay tax on the profit for the year. Um, now there's a little um, hitch in your first year that you do. Let's say you've done some accounts up to 31st of March 2019 and it shows that you owe £1,000 tax. Now that tax will be payable on the 31st of January 2020 but at the same time they will also want a payment on account for the following year based on the tax for the previous year. So you'll have one and a half times your tax. So it can be quite quite nasty. Um, let's say let's say you owe ten thousand pounds in tax. You've had a good year, and uh, you owe ten thousand pounds in tax. You they won't want ten thousand pounds in on the thirty first of January two thousand and twenty. They want fifteen thousand, and they want ten thousand pounds for the year just gone, five thousand pounds on account. For the following year and they'll also want £5,000 on the 31st of July 2020 for a second payment on account. So basically what that means is you will have paid £10,000 tax for the previous year, you pay £5,000 in January and then £5,000 in July 
for the following year. So if everything carried on going exactly the same, your profits were exactly the same, allowances and tax rates stayed the same, you would have, you would be paying 5,000 in January, 5,000 in July, 5,000 in January, 5,000 in July, so on, so on. But that first time is that you get that extra bit because you haven't paid anything on account. It can also work out if your profits are suddenly very high. So your profits might go up double and all of a sudden you're going to have quite a balancing payment because you've only paid 10,000 on account um, whereas you should have paid 20,000 so you're going to have another 10,000 pounds to pay and then they'll also base base the payments on account on the previous year so you'll have one and a half times that increase again um, you can if you think that was a one-off good year you can elect to reduce your payments on account so if you had one good year um, say you that, that year that we're talking about and you paid ten thousand pounds. If you thought next year your liability is going to be more like six thousand pounds, you can elect to reduce your payments on account by the four thousand pounds total. So you'd pay two thousand less in January on account and two thousand less in July on account. Um anyway, that's quite messy, isn't it? But we'll um leave it at that I think. That's how self-employment works. Limited companies work in a different way, and in a, I'll describe that in another video um, to follow this one. So uh, look out for that, and if, as usual, like and subscribe and give me comments, and I'll see you again soon.